Hello brothers and sisters. So now this article was interesting and I want to give you my, my thinking behind it as well. So here we go. Arab plan for the day after. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Jordan and the Palestinian Authority have met for secret talks. Axios reported the leaders from Saudi, Egypt, Jordan and officials from the PA met to discuss proposals for rehabilitating the PA so it could be allowed to participate in governing after the war ends. According to the report, Saudi Arabia's National Security Advisor, Musaid bin Mohammed al Ibn hosted the meeting and invited the Director of General Intelligence Services, Major General Mayet Faraj, their counterparts from Egypt and Jordan, and they were all present. While neither Israel nor the United States were invited to the meeting, Axios claimed that the officials from both nations were briefed about the meeting after the fact. Now, here's my thinking. These countries are all getting together. A lot of them are power players like Saudi Arabia, and they're discussing the day after. Israel's not invited. America's not invited. And it is closed secret talks. What are the odds that the Antichrist was there telling them how this is going to go down? what is going to happen, how he's going to make this work in their favor, if they'll just go with him and work with him in his plan, because for three and a half years, it's going to seem like the perfect win for Israel, peace, stability, security, everything. But at the three and a half year mark, he's going to show his true colors and reward the Muslim community, all these Arab nations, and give them Israel for destruction. Could it have been this meeting where he was chatting to them further on these plans and what lies ahead for the final week of Daniel? I think with how late the hour is, with how many prophecies have been fulfilled, that it is a very big possibility that Antichrist was there having a chat and pulling strings in the background and discussing with them what happens to happen next. Interesting, dark times. The exciting thing is how close we are to our Lord and our God picking us up and us heading home. Keep looking up. Shalom.